Welcome back. Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Idea Lab series with me, Gary Fox. Every Monday for the next 10 weeks I'm going to be bringing you ideas, inspirations, thoughts and hopefully some helpful stuff that will help us all through the next 10 weeks. I was due to do a special episode today about the hottest trends for 2021 but we're going to change that up and I'll explain why in a minute. First off I hope we went and listened to the first episode in season 5 which came out last Thursday with Ronan Odalik, the founder of Thriftify. It was a super super episode, I know I say that nearly every week but this genuinely was. Ronan is a fascinating dude, what they're doing is super interesting, they're bringing charity shops online, this was a completely untapped market and Thriftify went from 20% market share in 2020 to an 86% market share by the end of the year. So it's a fascinating story. He's a cool dude. He thinks about things very differently. And I think there's a lot of learnings we can all bring to our own industries from what Ronan is doing. I'm also looking for an intern. If you're on the Idea Lab newsletter, which you should be, every Monday I send out an email around 12 o'clock um, to kind of break down this episode, it'll kind of cover what we cover in this episode, but there's lots of like helpful links. I share a lot of articles, I share what I'm reading, I share what I'm listening. So if you're not listening to that, if you're not subscribed, go to mrgaryfox.com, subscribe. On that, I was talking about this week, then I'm looking for an intern. So if you are interested in working with me on the podcast, on, on YouTube, and all sorts of creative stuff, jump on the website, get in touch with me, and we'll have a chat. Right, today, I'm gonna to talk about five ideas. These are very different ideas. These aren't really about business, these are more about ourselves. So the more I chat to people over the last two, three, four weeks, everyone's struggling a little. I'm struggling. I've been hit very hard by COVID from a business sense. Luckily enough, I haven't been hit on it personally, but from a business sense, I've been hit very hard. And so is everybody. And everyone is struggling. Even if you haven't hit that hard by business-wise, we're all struggling a bit mentally. And I found myself having a bit of a bit of a lull over the last couple of weeks. And I have a couple of strategies that I always go back to and I've reintroduced these back into my routine. I'm going to share them with you today. So, number one, I go back to a very simple thing. It's journaling, but not in the traditional sense. It's super simple. It takes me about two minutes every morning. So, I get a get my notebook, and I write the day in the date, obviously, and then I write a simple sentence. I say today will be a success if dot dot dot, and I write down three things. That's all. Not like an exhaustive list or not crazy. And generally, two of them are quite easy. Two of them will be often like life admin stuff, need to go to the post office, you know, stuff like that. Easy things you can just tick off your list. And as you start ticking things off, you get my favorite word in the world, momentum. And that brings you into your third thing, which is generally a big thing. The third thing will be something big, something big that I'm working on either professionally, for the podcast, for my business, for new businesses, whatever it is, whatever one major thing I'm doing that day, I'll focus on. I'll generally do that in the form of deep work, which is 90 minutes every morning. That'll be the first thing I'll do. Just checking time as we're going to keep these tight to 10 minutes as people love the short format. Number two, and this ties into number one, brain dumping. Very fancy way of saying a little bit of night journaling. It doesn't sound as a notiony. Brain dumping. Every evening, as either I'm shutting down my laptop, leaving my office for the evening, or if I'm just before bed, Again, I get the same notebook. I try to keep everything in one notebook. I used to notebooks for everything. Like, oh, business notebook and an ideas notebook and this and that. Everything in one notebook. Everything's together. And I try to keep things simple this year. 2021 is the year of keeping everything simple. So I brain dump. What does that mean? I just dump down everything on paper of what I'm thinking about. Stuff I'm worried about. Stuff that I have to do. Um, stuff that I'm thinking about. Ideas. Just anything, anything. I think of it as shutting down my mental computer. I think, of, you know, all the tabs. If you're like me, you've about 15 tabs open in Chrome every single day. And I just think about brain dumping as literally mentally closing them all in my mind. Not to get too deep about it, but just getting all the stuff out of your head. You know, the stuff that wakes you at three o'clock in the morning, and you're like, oh, I never did that. I forgot to pay that thing, or I forgot to contact that person. That's brain dumping. And then I use the brain dumping every morning. I look back at it and go, but what are the three things I need to do? So the two of them tie into each other beautifully. So brain dumping, and today will be a good day if they're my two top tips. Number three is accountability. This is more like a personal thing for me. 
for 2021. As I was looking back over 2020 and 2019, accountability is something as entrepreneurs, or if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, it's something you won't have because you're your own boss. You know, you will be accountable to your clients, to your staff, but you're no boss, really. You know, apart from the, the tax man and your accountant once a year, um, you'll, you'll have no one you're really accountable to. And this leads onto a problem which my friend David Alhonti has coined as the, the shiny object syndrome whereby you get distracted by all new ideas. And I'm, I'm number one, criminal number one for that. I do that all the time. I get distracted by, oh, I can do this and I can do that and I can do that. Accountability. So I've introduced accountability into all five areas of my life. So again, comes back to my 2021 planning. Five areas that I'm working in, my chair just slipped. So work, creative, fitness, family, and adventure. Five areas that I'm working on and in each area, I have an external person outside of my business, outside of my family that I'm accountable to. For example, for fitness, it's accountable to my coach, Larry Doyle. Every month, he sends me my plan. We have a quick chat. Larry's not going to shout at me if I don't do it. But just knowing that I've committed to doing something with an external force, the power of that is huge. The leverage that I'll give you, because in your head, you're like, okay, I've committed to doing that. And you're already a step along the path. Accountability. Highly, highly recommend it. Number four is networking. And that, that's a horrible word. I'm actually gonna replace that with something else. I'll think of something else to replace that with in a few weeks, but it's connection. Connection with other people, and most importantly, connection with other entrepreneurs. If you are an entrepreneur, this is an unbelievably lonely time. Entrepreneurship is a lonely, lonely business at the best of times. No one really talks about it because it's so sexy and so glamorous and so cool to be an entrepreneur. It's lonely because you have all these things spinning around in your head, all these thoughts and worries and anxieties, especially now, and no one's really admitting it. No one's really, really talking about it because it's, it's tough. Even for me to open up and do these podcasts, it's quite tough because you're putting yourself out there and inevitably there's people that don't like it and there's people who think differently to you and, and that's fine. But I'd encourage you to open up, connect, reach out to people, even as people you haven't talked to in a while, reconnect with them. They're probably in the same position that you are. I'm also gonna try help people by starting the Entrepreneur Experiment community. We've talked about this a good bit in the past. I probably procrastinated a little bit on it, but I also wanted to find the right way to do it. I now believe I found the perfect way. It is going to be an action-based community. The world does not need another noisy channel like Twitter, essentially recreating Twitter, whereby it's just all this noise. This is action-based. Everything will be focused on helping each other. Specific problems, problem solving, connections, mentorship, opening opportunities within the group. You'll be amazed what a small, powerful network group can do. I'm a member of a number of these and they are unbelievably useful and powerful. And the, the, the joy and the, the reinvigoration I get every single time we have a meeting is absolutely huge. Long story short, I'm launching the Entrepreneur Experiment community. There will be a small charge purely for, we don't value what we get for free. We just simply don't. As I wrote in the newsletter this morning, how many PDFs, answer this question in your head, and I'll give you a pause to think about it. How many PDFs and eBooks free have you downloaded? Okay, just think of how many, roughly. For me, it's probably 70. How many of them have you used? Exactly. You just don't value it. You get that initial rush of hitting download, and then it rarely jumps out of your downloads folder into something useful. And you definitely don't look at it more than once a month or six months or a year. It'll be 49 euros for the entire year. I was gonna do an ultra premium, ultra small community, but in light of COVID and in light of everything that everyone's going through, I'd rather make a bigger impact with a bigger number of people and make it more accessible. Because a few people did reach out to me and they're like, I really badly wanna be a member of this community, but I don't have 299 or 399 euros. And I completely get that. This podcast is all about connecting with other people, me connecting with fellow entrepreneurs, me making my network bigger, and me hopefully having a positive impact on other people and on you. This is the way I want to do it. And actually, to be honest, the biggest benefit you'll get won't be from me. It'll be from the other members of the group. It'll be from that community aspect and just that check-in aspect. We'll have once a month, we'll all sit down together. Well, we won't sit down together, obviously COVID, but we'll have online meetings and there'll be a, a network element whereby you'll be able to go on every day, there'll be a board, there'll be connections, it'll be good. So if you want to join that, go to mrgaryfox.com, 
hit the community button, put in your email, you'll get an email in the next seven days with your invite and I look forward to it. Number five, this is to learn a new thing. I've just gone over the 10 minute mark, but we'll run through this. Learn a new thing. So something creative, not related to your work, something that you've always wanted to do, whether it's writing, storytelling, stoicism, graphic design, whatever. Anything creative that you want to do, learn something new. For me, I'm learning Final Cut Pro so I can learn how to do my videos better and something that's totally unrelated. I, I've never done that before in my life. It's super interesting and engages a part of your brain that I haven't engaged in absolutely years, probably since I finished college. I'd highly recommend it. If you're on the newsletter, you've got links to all the stuff I just talked about. If you're not on the newsletter and you want to get on, go to the website, mrgarfox.com. I will see you back here on Thursday. We have a really interesting chat with a chap called Jack Crotty. He has started Neighbor Food, and it is basically essentially bringing on the local farmers markets and the local village markets online. And it is such a cool concept. You log on, you see all the list of suppliers that are in your area, you can order and they turn up once a week and it's all ready for you, packaged and you just collect it. Such a cool idea. He's a really interesting dude. That goes up Thursday at 5 a.m. I'll chat to you then. Have a super week. There we go, YouTube. We're back. I hope you find that useful. Now let's do the uh, let's do the uh, the thumbnail.